the Christmas Explorers. Welcome to the Christmas special. For today's adventure, we're walking around Birmingham, visiting all the different street art. So stick with us and let's go see what's here. So we're in the car park just off Allison Street. As you come down Digbeth, Allison Street is the first left um, as you come in this way, so it's really easy to find. So make sure you stop in here and just check out all the awesome art. Joining me today, sent from the fashion runways of heaven, is Explorer Stew, looking cool and fancy, leaning against this wall. for joining us on our Christmas special. We are hanging out mostly in Digbeth um, to see all the street art. Um, but if you don't want to walk all the way down to Digbeth, if you come out the back of New Street Station, there's a whole bunch of cool art that you can check out. Um, they've given over a load of disused units, they've boarded them all up and let all the artists paint all over them. So all around there near the Arcadian, or if you're feeling athletic, you can walk your way down to Digbeth. Um, Digbeth used to be quite an industrial part of Birmingham, lots of factory units, um, they since fell into disrepair and uh, I guess because all the prices went lower, all the creatives and artists and entrepreneurs moved in and have taken over the units and now there's a really bustling like, creative scene here, lots of cool shops, bars, restaurants, um, loads of great food places, so just come to Birmingham and come check out Digbeth, it's probably my favourite bit, is it your favourite bit? It's, it's up there. Yes, it's, it's up there with the number one bit of Birmingham. Around Digbeth, new art goes up all the time. Um, but back in, I think it was October, they had the High Vis uh, Street Art Festival where there was about 60 or 70 artists all came in from all over the country, um, were given different wall space and loads of art went up over that weekend. I didn't film then, I just, I just wanted to enjoy the day. But um, there's always cool stuff to check out here. Just explore all the different streets and you'll see awesome stuff. heading down Floodgate Street. If you've seen the movie Ready Player One by Steven Spielberg, um, you might have seen this street. He filmed all down here um, because of all the street art, but in the film they covered up all the street art with their own street art, so it's a bit weird that they even chose this road. They filmed a bunch around Digbeth, um, I think over at the old Typhoo Tea Factory, and over near Snow Hill uh, train station. I think they filmed a bunch of um, the chase sequences towards the end all around there. Um, it's an alright film but you can spot Birmingham Skyline in it as well. So check it out just for those bits. Probably just check those bits out on YouTube. Cool thing about Digbeth is no matter where you walk, you go down all the side streets and there's loads of cool, interesting, unique, quirky venues, and whether it's markets, food shops, or just entertainment places to check out. Not much is open today because this is our Christmas special, so we're filming it at Christmas, but we've just been in to the Red Brick Market, which is behind us, and I bought, not really very good for this year, but great for next year, 
a little Christmas tree ninja which will be joining all my decorations uh, next year. How exciting for my Christmas tree. stopped off at the custard factory this is kind of the heart of Digbeth uh, there's loads of creative um, studio spaces here lots of cool food and drink venues uh, there's an arcade bar a board game cafe and I think we're gonna go check out the board game cafe right now because we're getting cold and wet probably too noisy to do a proper review in Chance Encounters um, but I had luxury hot chocolate and we were both in agreement that the top of the hot chocolate was really tasty uh, that was cream marshmallows I had Reese's sauce which was kind of peanutty and salty really good Stu had dark chocolate sauce was that good yes and the bottom contents of the hot chocolate was just like a bog standard hot chocolate. Except so, it was a little cold. Yeah, it wasn't that uh, warm, but because they weren't served in mugs and there was no handle, they were kind of forced for it to be lukewarm because you'd just burn your hands if you tried to pick it up otherwise. Strategically, investment in mugs would benefit this cafe. <laughs> yeah, but the cafe itself is really good. The hot chocolate, the top and bottom combined, I would give it a seven out of 10. Um, and I'd say invest in some proper mugs with handles and make the hot chocolates warmer. But I still come here because it's a good cafe and it was 4 50 for the hot chocolate, definitely premium, and £3 for two hours of board gaming time. We didn't do any board gaming. Um, but yeah, nice pit stop on a grey day. <laughs> Okay, we're on to our final lap of our street art tour. We have come out of the custard factory and if you head round to the back onto Gibbs Street, there's a big loop you can do round there and you can go to the car park. And we've got the, one of the centerpieces of the street art uh, that we'll finish off. Let's just say it's web related. Right, Spider fans, we're at one of the genuine highlights of Digba Street Art. Maybe not the best painted of all of the artworks, but for scale and size, it's awesome. Um, and also, it's super appropriate for the channel because it's the big Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4 mural. This was painted to promote the game coming out, but then it was covered up with a huge poster of Peaky Blinders for ages. Um, and I think it only got re-revealed in maybe the last six months, nine months. Um, but for you, so you don't even have to come out in this grotty rain with us, you can look at the big Spider-Man mural um, and then turn the video off because that will be the end. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Tell me what you think of the art. If you want to see me do more of this stuff, leave it in the comments below. Um, and also, if you like the video, like and subscribe to the channel. But don't click away because we're going to look at the street art now.